Hey there, pimple stoppers. In this video, I wanna talk about the role of encapsulated benzoyl peroxide in the treatment of rosacea. For those who are new to the channel, I'm Dr. John Barbieri. I'm a board certified dermatologist and acne and rosacea expert. Now, when it comes to thinking about treatments for rosacea, we often don't think of benzoyl peroxide on the list of things that might help. Benzoyl peroxide can be irritating and those with rosacea often have sensitive skin. So we usually don't think these go together. We find that most benzoyl peroxide formulations, they just aren't tolerable in those with rosacea. So encapsulation comes into the picture here because it can help improve the tolerability of benzoyl peroxide. By encapsulating the benzoyl peroxide molecules in a silica shell, we're able to distribute them more evenly and more slowly onto the skin. And what we find is that this decreases irritation and might make it a useful treatment for those with rosacea. There's been two large phase three clinical trials looking at this encapsulation technology of benzoyl peroxide in the treatment of rosacea. In these studies, which included over 700 individuals with moderate to severe rosacea, who were randomized to either 5% encapsulated benzoyl peroxide or just vehicle, we found that the encapsulated benzoyl peroxide treatment is very effective at treating rosacea. About 50% of those who were treated with the encapsulated benzoyl peroxide had clear or almost clear skin at the end of the study compared to just about 20 to 25 percent who are treated with the vehicle. So this is a very effective treatment when it comes to improving rosacea. Now what about tolerability? When we look at side effects, very few patients documented redness or irritation or other tolerability issues with this product and notably only two percent of people in the treatment arm who got the five percent encapsulated benzoyl peroxide discontinued the study due to side effects compared to 1% in the vehicle arm. So this is a treatment that appears to be very effective. It seems to be well tolerated. It works quickly. When we look at the clinical trial data, people really reach kind of peak improvement after just four to eight weeks. So this is a treatment that works very fast. So we have something that's tolerable, effective, and fast, which is great for those with rosacea. And really for the first time, we have a benzoyl peroxide product that most people with rosacea are able to tolerate. These phase three trials were also extended out to 52 weeks in duration to see if these benefits are maintained. And in these studies, they found that even after 52 weeks of treatments, there wasn't any evidence of losing effectiveness. People are still doing very well who are being treated with this encapsulated benzoyl peroxide product. Now, a great thing about this treatment option is it really opens up new opportunities for us to help those with rosacea. Classically, our treatments for bumps and rosacea for papules and pustules have been antimicrobial things like ivermectin, metronidazole, other topical antibiotics, or oral antibiotics. And now we have something new that can complement those treatment modalities that likely we can use together with them to treat those who have more challenging rosacea. In addition, benzoyl peroxide in the setting of acne is known to help prevent and reverse antibiotic resistance. And as I mentioned, many of the treatments that we use for bumps and papules and pustules in rosacea are antimicrobial treatments that have the potential of causing antibiotic resistance. So benzoyl peroxide might be a valuable thing that we can combine together with these antimicrobial strategies to similarly to what we do in acne, prevent or reverse the development of antibiotic resistance. And we know that rosacea is a chronic condition that tends to require persistent and long-term treatment. So those who are using things like topical or oral antibiotics usually are using them for many months to years. And so it becomes even more important to have strategies that might help us prevent or reverse antibiotic resistance if that does occur. So where do I see this encapsulated benzoyl peroxide product fitting into our treatment approaches for those with rosacea? So it does cause some irritation. And I think this contrasts with some of our other topical antimicrobial treatments like ivermectin or metronidazole, which tend to cause almost none. So I do think that it may not be the first thing that we go for, especially because there can be challenges with access as well. But for those who have tried kind of our traditional treatments for bumps like metronidazole, ivermectin, azelaic acid, and haven't improved enough or haven't been able to tolerate them, I think this could be a great thing to add on to or to use instead in our rosacea treatment regimens. For those who are on long-term topical or oral antibiotics, this might be a nice treatment to help prevent antibiotic resistance as well. So it could be something that we could combine together as a team, just like we do in acne, where we often use benzoyl peroxide with topical antibiotics like clindamycin. So overall, I'm really excited about this new encapsulated benzoyl peroxide product that we have. It opens new doors for us in terms of treatment mechanisms that we can bring to help those with rosacea. 
it likely can complement or even kind of maximize the effectiveness and minimize some of the risks of some of our other classic rosacea treatments. And then an important consideration with it is that it is a treatment that's primarily for bumps, for papules and pustules. For those who have predominantly redness from rosacea, other treatments might be more helpful. And we have other videos on the channel that go into detail about some of the best ways to address redness and rosacea. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please give it a like so that we can share it with more in the community and subscribe to the channel. Your support really means a lot to me and I appreciate it. Ask me your questions about rosacea in the comments below. And until next time, see ya.